morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. This is Tuesday. Back in the back in the old studio. Got our jack of all trades shirt on today. Are we playing in that uh turn this tournament? Yeah, the Georges. No. Big oh, yeah, old tournament. Yeah, yeah. Big old tournament? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, it's in September, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. In, in September. September. In September. <clears throat> so, I don't, I don't want to get into nothing about yesterday. Right, right. What right. happened? It's all cleared up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got a question. I thought you were going to talk Do about Do you have music. a problem admitting when you're wrong? Uh, Not really, because I'm usually wrong most of the time. So... Hey, I'm not no. doing my joke because I was going to go, I don't know because I'm never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, I know, between me and you, I'll argue my point until it, I have to go home and go, damn it, he was right. Or wrong. Or wrong. You know, I, there's nobody that's right all the time. No. Uh, Gerald thinks he is. <laughs> I do think about stuff a little more before I argue it. But it still don't mean I'm right. <laughs> well, you're right. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, I I'll, I'll, I'll sit over in the corner and I agree. But I will tell you what, because I've thought about it, I've already got my ammunition. You are. Th- I give you that. I got give my you ammunition. That. Is it hard? <laughs> but can you admit when you're wrong? Yeah, I have to do it quite often. A lot more than you're around to see. Uh, I will say something I have gotten better at, and this this can be argued, but used to in an argument, especially with you and I. Right. You remember back in 78? You are good When you took that extra step. When you said you weren't going to take that extra step. Yep. I would start grasping for straws. I didn't care how far back. I know in your mama's womb you were thinking something bad. And that's the reason you're going to lose this argument. I swear to you. And I have really, really tried to stop doing that. And I think I've done a decent job. But what is it? Why? Is it not so much about winning now? No, it's about just being smarter and growing up. (laughs) 47. I'm growing up. It, it, it's that deal of of thinking. Or is it worth it? I saw a meme yesterday that said, next time you get upset, think about if you die tonight, was it worth getting upset today? Oh, that's actually a very and good meme. That's actually a very good. I went, not very often, not very often have I got mad over something that if I wasn't around tomorrow, it would make a difference. It'd make a difference. That is a very, probably, great statement. Well, I don't know who, who came up with it or whatever, but... I probably did. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Just and telepathically it. sent it to somebody. Somebody. But, I think saying you're wrong... Saying I'm sorry means a lot. Totally agree. Uh, when you mean it. As men, I think we say it more than women, even when we're not wrong. As men, as a society, because a woman can, a woman can hate for a long time. That is, that is, that's a good one. That's a, a woman one. can be mad for a long time. Are you a grudge holder then? No. <clears throat> no, but I, I keep it in my weapon bag. <laughs> so just maybe, in case, <laughs> just in case I need you it. You gotta use it. I mean, I bring a 22 to the fight, but I have an Uzi. <laughs> Just letting you know. I have an Uzi. All right. And I want to ask you, this. I want to ask them this, and you can answer this, because we used to do this. I think it was just because we had nothing else to do. Do you like to argue? And I'm not saying I look forward to arguing, but when it starts. I like a good discussion. Do you enjoy the, the, and, the argument? And you and I aren't. Like this every day. No. But that was usually who it was. Yeah. Now, I'm with somebody a lot more that goes, are you done? You're stupid. And I go, argue with me. Because you like, you're a point. You like to make this point. I want to make my point. Yeah. 
Or I want you to prove yours. Or prove you're wrong in your point, yeah. <clears throat> That's... But nine times out of ten, the argument was not worth having. I take that back. 99 out of 100, usually it's not worth having. I will say, and you, you guys can answer this, on <clears throat> in your relationships, whether it's friends, girlfriends, wives, husbands, I don't care, at what point do you get to, like you said, 99 out of 100, it ain't worth it. Me and you now, it's if, like... If both of you like to argue, you're going to argue. The deal oh. with me and you is we can say the rawest things we want to each other, and then finally go, all right, that's over. Yeah. Hey, let's go eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's done. Well, there's no grudges because yeah. I I know you. I know Stephanie. Stephanie does not like to discuss crap, which, thank God, I'm not smart enough to discuss a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we don't ever have no arguments. But she's like, you know how I am. Look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it like this. Why? Why? And she's like, man, I don't whatever. And she won't talk. So I'm like, oh, now don't not talk to me. So I, when she clams up as I've gotten older at 50, <clears throat> as I've grown up at 50, when she clams up, I know that means enough. I'm it ain't worth even trying to figure just yeah. Wait till she's ready to talk to me. So but there's so many things that I I ain't no doubt and you've known me for how long? I can oh, have a bad day. Yeah. I can just... I, hey, Chris, what's up? What What do you mean, what's up? <laughs> huh? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm, my bad. Hey, you want to go eat? Eat where? Where are you... Wh why you want to eat? Because you're hungry? I mean, sometimes I wake up in that deal, and you have figured out, I, he's just in his mood. I ain't going to deal with him. When you're not, when you're not in that immediate... I... It's either stressful or it's bad, so it ain't no. There, I used to do this. How come you ain't smiling? Right, right. Dang, dude. How come you ain't? How come you ain't happy? But a lot of times it's nothing. A lot I of know. times it's just I guess a little bipolar, and I'm just I don't want to laugh and yeah. joke at that point, and something little will bother me. Yeah, yeah, that can set off the yeah. the mood. <clears throat> so last week we talked Ozark. Yes. Stephanie's watching. She's watching episode one. She's going to binge watch this weekend. She'll watch them all. Trust me. Yes. Brian's watched it. Barry's watched it. Hope's anyway, going to start this weekend. Anyway, Jason Bateman, the very condescending, uh, smart, numbers guy, uh, passive aggressive. Yes. He talks about the stuff don't happen for a reason. <laughs> Uh, there's something else in there that I went, oh my God. <laughs> but even for the ones who aren't going to watch it, if you are an action guy and you like kills, right? you have to see the kill in episode 10. I'm not going to tell you who it is or what, all that kind of stuff. You can YouTube that, by the way, people. Probably. But you probably want to watch the series. Yeah. If you like a good series, yeah, watch it. Yeah, they're saying it could go up to five seasons. Really, <clears throat> the next one won't be out till next July probably. Yeah, and, and they haven't even renewed it, but it should be out next year, and then they'll start pumping them out. I'm sure. But I might uh, watch that now, man. It's uh, let's hurry up and get this. It's good, here. and the kill is mainly telling you to watch it and hope to watch it, but hope's watching the series because I was like. Oh my God! All right, I'm in. All right, so get this show we'll probably pull it up it. after this is over. Let Dang you right. see it. But that's all I had. Pull your uh, pull your phone up. And give me the lunch deal for today, so okay. I can tell these people what to have. It. <clears throat> all right, okay. Yeah. And hey, I appreciate everybody liking that back bar area. Uh, also, Big Dwayne had a good comment that maybe we do an alter, alter alternate universe and. I go do a Ask the Twins, and Big George does a show, or vice versa, where we go and do a... As long as Big George does not laugh as much as he does on his show, he can sit in with me. It's infectious, but God dang, he can laugh. Ain't I gonna, love you, man, but you can laugh. Happen. Ain't gonna happen. Tuesday, loaded French fries with brisket and sausage. Eight bucks. Okay, you saw it. You heard Eight it here. Eight bucks. And our sponsor, D-Bolt. 
I saw him, I saw Brandon the other day, and he's going to get us some shirts. I wear a 2X. <clears throat> My wife has one. How'd she get it? You tell me. Son of a Maybe made... the D-bolts have been over. No, they banked, they banked there and gave her one. Oh, that's why I saw him at the yeah. bank. Yeah. Well, he better get me one because he said he's going to get us both one because I told him we'd wear it on the show. So that's our sponsor for today. Uh, we appreciate everybody and every sponsor. What is Tuesday is happening this weekend at the backyard? Friday, Billy Holt Band. And Listen, man. They're, they're out of Temple. He's good. And they're going to play everything you want to dance to yeah. from the Wobble to George Strait. They're a country party band. Dude. And he gets out in the crowd. It's just a fun time. And then we had a cancellation on Saturday, so we're just going to do a no cover Saturday. With and, DJ. And DJ Cooper's going to just play what you want to hear. No cover. I like that. That doesn't happen very often on Saturday night. Like no cover. So all you uh, young folks that usually wait till 11. You can come in. You can come on over at 9. You can come in at 7. Yeah. And get your party on. Get your party on. And those of you that are playing FanDuel, don't forget that your entry's due by September 1st. I'm in on that. I got to get mine in. Yeah. Have a wonderful day, man. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. We're out.